Oh, that's right. Oh, no, I didn't think about this. Oh, no. Wait, what was Rian's way? Oh, right. Rian's way was making a big show of it. I mean... Yeah. Right? Because... Hmm. Although, oh, make it, maybe making a big, a big show of it is bad. But then we're kind of meeting a middle ground amongst everyone, right? Because technically you're going to get a... <laughs> No, that's stupid, actually. That sounds really, really stupid. That's a terrible idea. Why was I torn between these? Wait a minute. Uh, I don't think that talking is... is uh, you know... Look, I was willing to do compromise, but, um, this is the best option, y'all. I'm not wavering now. Assassination. In and out. No one damaged. This sucks. Could be better. It is what it is. So, I don't like that. Hmm. I don't like any part of what I just said, actually. We can do this, guys. Haha. <laughs> ha. I, uh, I, I don't have a problem with this. I've never won in a fight on even playing field, Mira. He's giving me a fair chance. Oh, yes, I'm sure Eric's primary concern is giving the people on his side a fair chance. You know where else we have a fair chance? Sitting down and using our own words. Says Mary Belgard. You have greater faith in the Lord's righteousness than I do if you think he'd ever freaking let me go alive. He came into my house, Mary. I can't give him an even chance after that. Imagine it. Imagine the sort of world where we could all do that. Imagine the world where we did all that. Imagine what would come next. Do you really think third time is the charm? They all wake up the next day and he's dead. That's all there is to it. So maybe people have failed before. What was it you said? Two or three attempts that we know of. I hear he has some hideous scars. I've heard his face is all. Mary sprinkles up his face, tracing a mark from the side of his face down along his jaw. That was a dare, though. Not revolutionaries. Huh? Wait, doesn't everyone know that? Not all his scars, but his face. Part of that was a dare. When he was a kid. Doesn't matter. Point is, people try to make it showy and dramatic, and we don't need that. Put aside your ideals and your better world, anything that's out of our reach, what is in our reach is one man. Reckon gets his answers, I get mine, and Kata never ever hurts anyone again. People have tried before, but no one's ever had what we have. Reckon? Yeah, Reckon. And I'm at your service. Okay, okay, get to the good bit. Stab, stab, stab. Stop that. Okay. We'll need to get into the castle and then find Kara. What's the castle like, anyway? It's on top of a hill, fortified by tall walls in this shape. She traces out a seven-pointed star with her fingers. An actual star, honest. What's the official way in? Gates. Guards. 
check and disarm all entrance. So we have to go up and over. There are towers at each point of the star, but they're not guarding the walls so much as looking over the city. If you had a way to get over the walls... This is gonna sound moderately- <laughs> Everything you say sounds moderately ridiculous. Thanks, right? There's this thing we do out on sea when you're in a ship fighting another ship. When were you ever involved in naval warfare? A plenty of times, Miro, please. Uh, there's these ropes with hooks on them, and you throw them at the other boat and try to grab them and pull them in close. That should work. Reckon must have a better picture of what this thing is than I do, so I'm gonna assume he's right. We'd be able to jerry-rig something out of the stuff around here, I think. Walls sorted. Where do we go then? I've never been anywhere but the actual court. It's not as though they do tours of the Lord's private rooms. Give me an idea of the castle layout. Mary and Marius sketch out all the layout, marking the star fort, entrances, and court. All places that their parents must have taken them. There are a lot of blank spaces. My parents. Where are the training grounds? Army general. The castle ones. Not my area. They'd have to be within the walls, and the points of the star don't allow for much space. The only place it could fit would be here. Then Lord Adair's room is... Here. Mister, I don't know. Tari and Mal started out there before they ended up out here with me. I think Tari trained there? Your mother was trained in the court? Or something, I don't know. Lord Adair must have been 20 years back. Tari said he'd watch the army training from his window every morning. Kaudet's mother was an army commander. Ari... Your mother trained with Kaudat's mother? Maybe? The timeline on that might work out. If Tari was younger than we are... At some point, we need to make a timeline of your entire history, lad. So, we know where we're aiming for, we have an idea of how to get there, and we have a deadline. What now? Skills. We'll only have one chance, so we need to be our best. Patron. Fine. Put me with the Major. I managed to purchase another rifle when I went to buy the boat. So we have two people who are best over long distance. We? Oh, we're gonna be the close range. Marvel. Which leaves Reckon and me for you and I are swordsmen. Okay, done. Split up, y'all. What about backup? Oh, we're all backup. And if someone gets hurt, what you're saying is no second chances, no fuck ups, no fixes. Why do you, why do I feel like you're getting off on this? Oh, probably because she is. All or nothing. Hmm. Okay, folks, off to work. Boy, I'm getting really nervous about this all of a sudden. <sighs> Mary and Rayan spend the next day paired up and scouring the palace top to bottom. Mary is on the hunt for information that either helps us break into the castle or proves it's impossible. <laughs> And Rayan's after some sort of heavy or exotic weaponry cache. For once, they've found their objectives aligned. Lover boy, your sister won't lift this herself. A uh, so lend her a hand? I'm in the middle of something here. Mutiny on deck, Captain Alistor overboard. She leans backwards out of one of the internal windows. She's right. She's gonna die. Lover boy! Such a tragedy. Oh, sheesh. Oh, that was a really loud boomy sound. Oh. 
They carry two heavy crates. Marius dramatically reveals the contents. Bottles of miscellaneous and well-aged spirits. Hell yeah, that's a great idea. Let's all get fucked up before we go and do this. Oh, we're so not gonna do this. Oh my god, this is gonna go horribly, horribly wrong. Mary studies each bottle carefully. Class as hell. I can't read this one. Give it to Reckon. Oh, there you go. Or he can just take it, I guess. The writing did look somewhat Eckler. I suppose he has a claim to it. Liver bee. He cradles four long necked bottles in his arms. Are you sure that's wise? If Mary's as intent on getting wasted as, a, as wasted as I suspect, she's gonna be miserable, and my rant gets mean. You and I can take the balcony. You're really fond of that balcony. More than anywhere else in this blasted cave. I thought you liked the blasted cave. A marvel of engineering, I'll give you that. But it's miserable, isn't it? Uh. Uh. I don't know. I do like this balcony. This is very nice. I understand. I understand where you're coming from. It can be stifling, like the last people are watching. Maybe we need to imagine a version of the story where nothing bad happened to him. Lord knows this is the Summer Palace. Imagine Karat was here for his 21st. Slept in every bed, got so drunk he nearly fell into the ocean. And no one would be there to catch him. Spends half the night dangling like Ran, shouts himself hoarse. You seem to be doing better. Your A must be smug. Seem, huh? Seem, seem, seem. Have you seemed to me at all today? I've been planning with Reckon and the Major all day. Didn't get out of bed till the light started getting all pastel paint early because everything ached. Still can't see straight. Everything smells like burning. We haven't lit a fire, right? Not since we came here. I should talk to Mary. Can you smell smoke? Are you having a stroke? What is happening? Uh, no? Chalk that up to another this is my life now thing. She just keeps getting weirder and weirder till it's weird enough that you gotta convince yourself you're only as weird as you were to start. And you're not, but you've made a full loop around me. I'm, I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm not entirely a human trash fire. I'm gonna get you where I need to be. But where you gotta be. Where do you need to be? Oh, anywhere. Put me somewhere I'll be useful and I'll do whatever I can. No, beyond this. Be beyond this week. Are you going home? Back out to sea? Hmm. Hmm. This little this little runaway hand keeps <laughs> keeps happening lately. Uh oh. Maybe I could go home, but after this, they might not even take Mary back. Who knows? And my story is not one that works in our favor. All I ever wanted, Ran, maybe. Mhm. Mm Just because you weren't all I ever wanted doesn't mean I don't want you now, Ricky. You don't get what you want, but you get what works. Don't know if I'd call it what I need, but maybe. And that's all there is to it. I don't know if I've ever known what you wanted. <laughs> you wouldn't. I don't, most days. I think I just want to feel like I'm in control. <laughs> don't we all? Hey, man. Here's to the pursuit of happiness. And the pursuit of the pursuit of happiness and to the pursuit of the pursuit of <laughs> Here's to friends and all their patience. I can't sleep.
the is that walking or I'm not a drunk, I guarantee. Remember the first time I ever got drunk? The one and pair were holding that important business dinner and they filled my glass with champagne. Mostly for the look of it, but it went down so easily. No. That was gone by then. But you did tell me about it. It was a funny story. It would have been more fun if you were there. And I would have been more fun if you were there, but say la vie. <laughs> oh, don't. Dickhead. You left me. I was always around. <laughs> I was almost always around. No one at breakfast. No one in class. Single desk by the window. Trotted out alone for every guest. I couldn't do it, Mira. I didn't ask for it and I couldn't. I couldn't do it. I tried. But I didn't sign up for any of that, Mira. I never wanted it and I didn't ask for my mom and pair to ever, would never listen. Sorry, Maman and I have ruined your life. It was you, you know. Sorry, I ruined your life. Uh, no, I mean, that's what I signed up for. My old mama, very happy, tempting, sure. I wanted to be hugged by an ass so bad. But I wanted to live with Mira more than any of that. The breakfast center across the table, hide in the cupboard when the maids were looking for us, argue about whose turn it was to answer the door, break something and blame her, see her break something and blame me, do things because Mary didn't want to do them, not do things because I knew Mary could handle them. Spent 10 years bouncing off of each other as we worked out who we wanted it to be. It sounded like the perfect way to grow up good. Except I couldn't cut it. All I wanted was to be back on the sea, and that was the one thing I made sure I couldn't do in case I never came back. But I would have come back if you weren't leaving with me. I tried to live the life I needed. It didn't go great, and I tried to keep my sister, and I thought that was going okay. I thought. I always told myself you walked away and never wanted to come back. But I was wrong, wasn't I? You thought you were going somewhere. How did you know? You were only a kid. You didn't know what you wanted. You're allowed to be unsure about things, Mira. But you can't insist that deep down everyone else is, too. It's not fair. Maybe you're not as unsure as you reassure yourself you are. I was always sure I wanted to look out for you. You did a good job of it, and I'm grateful. But now I'm doing okay. Yeah, getting my shit sorted. No small thanks to Rick. You picked a good one when you picked him up. Well, there was a hole in my life, and he was the right size, nearly. Filling a hole in my life, too. Do not go there, you. I know barely anything about what you two get up to entirely by design. He's good for you. How do you do it? It's 
not so hard. Crack your heart open and let you, and let who you can't be decide who you must be. Rick, wake up. Come on, mate. It's the middle of the Arvo. I've been waiting. What the fuck is the Arvo? You didn't drink that much, you lightweight. He's got a speech for us, Ricky, and he won't say anything to me till you get up. <sighs> okay. Okay, I'm... You got pillow lines all over your face. This this runaway hand is really starting to hurt me a little bit. <laughs> Where he is? I think I think I got something I should say. To you two. Before I promise you won't laugh if it comes out dumb. Nah. I promise I won't let her laugh at you. Uh, you can laugh if you want. I just can't take it from her. I have a great laugh, okay? Oh, shut up. Go on. I think... I, I think I might have loved both of you. The whole time I've known you. Ran, duh. Never been a secret about that. I'm irresistible. Oh, you joke, but... Please, I've seen your face, Bucko. You're a dumbass romantic. Of course you went for me. Uh, you made a strong impression. That sounds way more interesting than the he hangs around story I got from Ran. It was true. Too scared to ever say a word to me till he came and got me to join. There he is. I wasn't scared. I didn't want to talk to you. Talking to you wasn't what I needed. What I needed was someone to... I needed Frick to say that he would turn the world around, and then I wondered if I was meant to change, too. Wait, that's why? Forgive me for coming on a little hard. You know how that conversation went. Huh? Guy comes up to me. Seen him around. Bit of a mess. Look, look. I know Eric. He's a he's the type of guy that you always know is gonna crack someday. And that's on the horizon. And don't you wanna be there when it happens? And I tell him no, why would I? People crack every day. And he says When this guy cracks, he's gonna split the nation with him. Now that had potential, but more than that, it was hot. It was hot? <laughs> Baby, if I didn't like it when you try too hard and look like a dumbass, I wouldn't be fucking you now. Oh. Now see if that makes him try even harder. I don't look like an idiot and try too hard. Right? Do I? Couldn't take both of you that way, Ricky. Someone's got to keep this scene cool, and I run hot. Okay, okay, look. I had some real tough times here. Wouldn't tell me. Some really rough years out there. And when I really, really was all alone. Where are you going? <laughs> I never needed to talk to you, Rand. It was better when it was untouchable. Is what I thought. Is what I thought. <sighs> Obviously I was wrong and it's better now. It's so much better now. Okay, Marius is gonna show up now. <laughs> <laughs> or you could keep talking. Because I like that. Ask Eric to tell you how we met. Go on, make him blush. <laughs> yes, it's very embarrassing for him. Terribly, terribly embarrassing for him. 
Mary introduced us once. She decided that I probably wouldn't be scared away. He stood and stared at me, jaw dropped, eyes wide, probably drooling. I try to shake his hand like Mary told me I should, and he tries to pretend he's all cool and hard by spitting in his hand before he takes mine. But then he just... just <laughs> then he just stands there looking. This is not the story I wanted you to tell, Rick. It's the story I'm telling. Whoops, maybe you shouldn't have left it up to me. Poor gorgeous, though. You didn't want to embarrass me, and you knew it was important, Amira. I remember thinking, maybe not then, but before I knew you all, that uh, that's a guy who commits. Not obstinate or stupid or anything, but he thinks stuff through. He does his best. Character is better than... And better than he has any right to be, and nobler than any of us deserve. And I stand by it. I don't get how you two can... All this moment stuff, all the story things, all the things I like. Can't pull off any of that sweet shit. Can't say I'd die for you, cause I wouldn't. Can't say I want to stay with you forever because I'm a flatty bitch. <laughs> but. Ugh. I like you both too much. It's gross and I don't like it. I barely ever liked one person before, ever. Be easier if I just wanted you both, but it's not that either. Ugh. Um, if you eventually manage to put together whatever it is you're trying to say, it'll probably kill me be the most powerful sentence anyone has ever spoken. <laughs> yeah, you fuckos better appreciate this one, because it's the worst thing I'll ever say. I thought she just fucking poofed out of the room. You don't make me better, and you don't make me happy, but... <sighs> Damn, it will make me feel loved. What was that? No one's ever been with me the way you two are. I don't know what to do with it. I'm still working out how it works. Do I have to say I love you? Because I won't. <sighs> okay, enough of that. Done. What are we doing today? <laughs> Barely any time to go now. All remnants of us are gone. Bedding and food back where we guessed they belonged. Stray pieces stacked away in stone niches. Reckon insists we leave no trace after all this is over. Maybe he would have preferred to burn down the entire forest, and he's seizing his chance now. Petty. When you need to act, burn your safe places to the ground. Not for a second can you think we're allowed to come back. That's what gets you. Did your sister do that? <laughs> Sometimes you make me wonder if we underestimate you lot. Mern got by on body language. The more vulnerable someone was, the better she was. Wonder if you could have chosen to take that path. If you burn them, the smoke shall be horrendous. Burning something that valuable does actual damage to the economy. I'm not a freaking idiot, dude. There must be a non-destructive alternative. Chuck him off the balcony, right into the sea. Some beach picker will lose their mind when those get washed up. They'll be trying to find a merchant shipwreck for weeks. We really could leave them here. The last people to stay left things behind. Yeah, trash. I shall keep one. I keep the one with the pants. You ain't doing this in skirts. I do many things in skirts. You can't moat. Believe me, that holds true whatever I wear. At least in the skirts, I have the element of surprise.
we steal one last night of revelry before the riot starts. Which is to say some of us get extremely drunk and some of us know better. I get drunk because I don't know better. That tracks. As far out of here as we can go, that's what I want. You, you and I steal a boat. And you can do all the work. Oh, we could learn. I would rather not, no matter how prettily you ask. I could ask very prettily. Or, you know, threatening is good too. I can't do it, depth perception. Where would you want to go? Got my boys, I go anywhere. Get me anywhere? Say the word. How far out could we go? You do know the world is round, right? Holy shit. No way. We could just keep going. Would you like to see everywhere I've ever been? Maybe better than here. I'd like that. Oh my god, that scared me. I'm next. There's always a space that will need to be filled. Your place is here. Jeez Louise, y'all have gotta stop doing that. I've seen things I've never seen before. Thought about things that I never had to before. I'm gonna go home and see how I can fit all of that back in. See if I feel any different. I'm getting what I need. I'm gonna see Kana to see right through him to know. And after that, we'll see. Wherever I go, I carry all of you with me. <laughs> You'll never get out of my head. You know, you know what I'd like if I could have anything? Never mind tomorrow. I'd like to see the day after tomorrow. Tomorrow keeps coming. The day after that, that's the day you pin your dreams on. That's the day I'm gonna see, no matter what. Oh my god, we're all gonna die. Here's to our good health. We're all gonna fucking die. Holy shit. It takes a few hours of walking through the countryside before the city comes into sight. Stagger and trip on the path. There's more people out there than I've seen in my whole life. The landscape never turns into city. The city just slowly erupts out of the fields. The buildings get bigger and the space between gets smaller and then the castle walls loom up, jagged and solid. Mary puts her hand on my shoulder and leans in. She pretends like she's trying to stabilize her aching leg, but she's holding me steady. Stand tall, country boy. 